Nice guys have no boundaries. Nice guys have no boundaries. They don't know where they begin and where they end. So as a result, they fall for anything. They'll go for anything. They, they accept absolutely anything. And there's a lot like, man, this is, this is the majority of people. From the time we were little kids, they tell you to be tolerant. And, and you know, that's one of the big catch words of the, of the woke uh, mob today. Tolerance, 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 tolerance. So you just tolerate anything. Now they want you to tolerate. It's, there, it's basically pedophilia that they're promoting at this point. How do men, grown men, adult men with children subject their children to this, these ideologies? Because they're tolerant. Because they, they wrap tolerance in the guise of niceness of kindness, of love, right? When it's nothing but, it's lies. So you gotta know where your boundaries are. You gotta be willing to speak up and say no. And you can't be afraid of pissing people off. I gotta tell you, my dad is not a nice guy. <laughs> my dad is a great guy. He's, he's a loving guy, a loving father. But as an as a anti-nice guy or a not a nice guy, my dad doesn't take shit from anyone at any time about anything. He speaks up his opinion no matter what's going to happen. He has the ability to say no. And I think that's really the biggest thing. Like you got to know yourself enough to where you put up the boundaries that you never allow to be crossed. Like you did that today when you saw the pride promotion at the gym and you were like, okay, that's it. That's where I draw the line. A lot of times people don't do anything or say anything or draw any boundaries. And when they, really, when they really ask themselves, what's the worst that could happen? It was because, oh, somebody's not going to like me. I have so many people in my life right now that do not like me. <laughs> Pause for a moment because I was thinking about that. Because the things I say on YouTube, they see my videos. These are like old family friends, even family members. And they saw me say something on Instagram or on YouTube. And they don't like me as a result. And there was a time when that would, like, that would hurt my feelings. But then when I really boiled down to it, it was like, yeah, I said that because I really believe that. And if I have to bite my tongue and pander to you so that you can, quote unquote, like me, well, that means you have no respect for me. That means I got to tuck my tail between my legs and bow down and kowtow to you and your delusion. I have to shut down all reason so I can placate you and your dysfunction. That's first of all, not having any respect for me, having no respect for reason and it's a very narcissistic way to go about life, so I don't need you. Maybe I'm the narcissist. If I don't agree about with somebody about something, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I, and I know that's not having charity. This is not a good, I'm not being a good Catholic man when I say this. But for the most part, when people go about their stupidity or say dumb stuff, I just turn the other cheek. I turn it off. I don't care. What kind of grown man cares so much about what another man says that he got, he catches feelings? You catching feelings, bro? You, you gonna cry? <laughs> when we was a kid, we used to do that. And like, if one of our boys caught feelings, like, yo, you can see, oh man, Bob caught feelings. They would go over and wipe a tear from his face. <laughs> you, when the minute you see the finger coming, you're like, get that, get away from me. Let them drown in their tears. Who cares? Go drown in your tears. <laughs> Hate me. Put on, that, put on that old Nas song. You could hate me now, but I won't stop now. You could hate me now, but I won't stop now. Right? You can hate me, but I won't stop. Porn. 68% of church-going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be? To live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.